Cameo 17, Bill's Class. The text section, titled The Devoted Teacher, like the earlier chapter 3 section, The Fear of Teaching, originally addressed Bill's fear of teaching an upcoming course. Ken Wapnick explained that there was a class in abnormal psychology Bill was scheduled to teach at the undergraduate campus of Columbia University. Bill always had a morbid fear of public speaking, although he was indeed an excellent speaker, and he was panic-stricken at the thought of this upcoming class. Wapnick went on to explain that Bill subsequently was not able to teach the course himself, but Helen accompanied him and they talked together. The following comments come after the end of the devoted teacher. They are thus the conclusion of the entire discussion on Bill's class. Bill's course was very carefully chosen because abnormal psychology is ego psychology. This is precisely the kind of content which should never be taught from the ego, whose abnormality should be lessened, not increased. You, Bill, are particularly well suited to perceive this difference and can therefore teach this course as it should be taught. Most teachers have an unfortunate tendency to teach the course abnormally and many of the students are apt to suffer considerable perceptual distortion because of their own authority problems. Jesus is claiming here that he very carefully chose Bill to teach the class on abnormal psychology. Abnormal psychology, he implies, is just an extreme expression of the ego, which is inherently abnormal compared to the true normality of heaven. The problem is that most teachers teach the course abnormally, i.e. teach it from their own abnormality, from their own egos. And as a result, the class ends up reinforcing the abnormality of their students. Bill was chosen because he is able to communicate the ego's abnormality from a place outside of it. His way of teaching can thereby lessen rather than increase the abnormality in his students. Thus, in spite of Bill's fear of his inadequacy as a teacher, Jesus is telling him that he was chosen to teach this course because of an unusual strength he has. Your teaching assignment and I assure you it is an assignment, will be to present perceptual distortion without either engaging in it yourself or encouraging your students to do so. This interpretation of your role and theirs is too charitable to produce fear. If you adhere to this goal, you will both engender and experience hope and you will inspire rather than dispirit the future teachers and therapists which I am entrusting to you. Now we can see even more clearly why Jesus assigned Bill to teach this class. Jesus' concern is with the teachers and therapists. These students will one day become and with those whom they will in turn affect. If Bill can teach the class from a standpoint beyond the ego's abnormality, he can inspire these future teachers and therapists with hope for healing rather than drag them down into fear and depression over their inescapable reality of mental illness. And presumably that hope will then flow through them to all students and patients they themselves will serve in the future. I promise to attend myself, and you should at least credit me with some dependability on keeping my own promises. I never make them lightly, because 
I know the need my brothers have for the trust. Jesus, however, does not just send a frightened Bill to the front of the class to face the students by himself. He also promises to attend the class as a show of support for Bill, a statement of his belief in Bill as a teacher. And in case Bill is tempted to think that this promise is just empty words, Jesus says that he does not make such promises lightly. After all, he's trying to lead Bill and Helen toward a global stance of trust. It is essential, then, that he is eminently dependable or he will just reinforce their current mistrust. He is not the sort of spiritual master who tries to shatter their egos by setting up certain expectations and then frustrating them. Rather, he is holding out to them one relationship in which real trust is possible, as a gateway to a trusting relationship with reality itself. And so, when he says, I promise to attend myself, he wants Bill to know that he is not kidding. He will really be there.